Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. We've just been given. the whistle D'Ambrosio plotting from out on the right hand side now it's Icardi Nagatomo Felipe Melo Jeffrey Condobia. Where to from here? Nagatomo takes aim with a cross. This could fall anywhere. Good clearance and very necessary. Tries a through ball. Well, this has proven to be a really bright start, but they can improve on their work in and around the opposition's box if they want to turn it into something more beneficial. Good idea, just poorly executed. Out wide to the right. Pumps it into the area. No, not this time. Yeah, they have lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Palacio. Corner it is then. Looking to shoot. And that really should have hit the net. That's a pretty powerful effort because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. The side yet able to find the net. That's surely a foul free kick. He's not going to get that. Oh, well, that would certainly liven things up. Now the pass. Palacio. Swung in. He's there to get rid. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Hits it first time! That is wayward. 
OK, they've got nothing to show for it, but that was a really incisive counter-attack, and it's hard to defend against that type of breakaway. like a good ball through. And there is the half-time whistle. I want to review the first half. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil then. Gets things going for the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. That's a throw. Forceful run down the right, but he's short of options now. Jeffrey Kondogbia. Nagatomo. Forward it goes. He's got the ball, he's got the space. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Still, it's a game that needs a bit of life injected. Jeffrey Kondopia passes it through. Mauro Icardi unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Felipe Melo looks to slip it through. Steered in. That is brilliant from Adair! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Inter Milan take the lead. Well, look, provided they don't go into panic mode, there's no reason as to why they can't get right back into this yet. Contopia! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after they put clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. Oh, they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Nagatomo with the ball through. Thrust towards the front line. Looking for a decent ball in. Now the cross. Back out it comes. They need a bit more urgency in their play. Time is ticking away. Inter Milan just have to run down the clock. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? 
Joe Miranda. Jeffrey Kondopia. Now it's Adair. And that is that. Inter Milan win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Yeah, and I think after that solitary second half goal, they did what all good teams do and protected their lead. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.